Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Dead Cells. I've never played this game before, I have no clue what to expect. Um, so let's get it started and have a look. <laughs> okay, that looks pixely. Now it says loading. Uh, okay. Title screen's very pixely. It looks really nice, though. Uh, I do have the DLC pack installed. Apparently it's free, so I just went ahead and set it up. But I don't know what effect it has. I've never played the game, so... Could be a user for some reason. Uh, looks like you can remap all the buttons, which is pretty cool. Uh... I can adjust the frame rate, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna leave that on, so if, um, if you are susceptible to bright flashes on the game screen, then I would suggest not watching, but, uh, that is a thing you can toggle, so that's cool, that's really good. Uh, sound, that's just volume and stuff. Bunch of languages. Diet? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so if, if you don't like eating meat, you can change it to vegetarian or fruit fruitarian and it will change what the food looks like. That's pretty that's pretty cool. That's a really nice, like, accessible feature. Cool. I'm gonna make it fruit. There we go. <laughs> Gameplay. Uh I guess I'll leave them the default, don't know what that means yet. And you have three save, you have seven save slots, okay. Well, uh, let's go, let's have a look. Uh, normal mode. Okay, so, so far this is looking pretty cool. I'm impressed by that diet option. Like, as an accessibility feature, that's very cool. Um, there's also, you know, being able to turn off the flashes and stuff, which is good. Uh, gross. That looked really gross. <laughs> okay, I can jump and very high. Like, look at that jump. That's tiny. Uh, oh, I got killed. Okay. That's not good. Oh, wait, hang on. What? I can jump up there somehow. Even though it looks like I wouldn't be able to jump that high. I guess I'm climbing up. Okay. Uh, you can use either the D-pad or the analogs. I don't think it... Oh, it does make a difference. There are, there are a couple of different walking speeds, so using the analogs would be a good idea. I guess I have a double jump. Alright, that makes sense. Uh, hello. Headless fellow. Let's do a thumbs up. Okay, so there's some items I can take here. I would like that. And that. Oh, I can only have one of them. Okay. So do I want the bow or do I want the shield? Let's go with the bow and see how we do, I reckon. Uh, it's this, it's this thing. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Uh, got a bit of a map on the screen. We can press minus to get a bit of a better map. So that's cool. Uh, these enemies don't seem to do a whole lot. I'm not sure if they're enemies or I'm just, you know, wandering along killing innocent people right now. That would be a bit sad. Uh, that guy's an enemy. A button to dodge. It makes me roll backwards. Or slide forward. You can do a couple of different dodges, I think. Uh, can I crawl through there? If I use the dodge roll, yes. Oh, 
Oh, you can break doors instead of opening them. Alright, that's cool. I was trying to duck to avoid being hit by that bow. It didn't seem to quite work. Um, we're taking a lot of damage already, so I'm not doing so great. <laughs> Oh, okay, so these things are teleporters. So I can probably walk back to the other one, right? Yes. Watch out for flies when you teleport. Is that, like, an actual problem, or is it just a reference to that one movie? <laughs> also, I don't seem to have a way to get back health by hurting enemies. I'm not sure how you heal yet. I'm pretty sure that uh, green bar at the bottom that says 35 is my health. Oh, well, I'm dead. Lost six cells. I don't know what that means. Gross. Well, I'm back. Um, I still have my normal weapon, so that's, that's good. Um, I guess I'll try taking the shield. Whoa, what's that? Rare blueprint acquired. Ice bow. Like, that sounds cool. Okay, so this area is actually completely different now. Uh, I guess it's sort of a roguelike kind of thing when you die. See, the map has been, like, flushed out, and I've got a fresh one, so... What is this? Heck, what am I looking at here? What? <laughs> I can tickle it, it doesn't even do anything, though. I, I don't know why I'd want to do that. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, there's a lot of teleport gates, like, super close to each other. That's not great randomization, I think. What's this? Did I get a treasure? Ooh. That sounds cool. Give me that. Okay, so that at one of my ZR button instead of the, um, instead of replacing one of my other buttons. So that's cool. So I want to go down this way? Oh, that's cool. I guess if you time the shielding just right, you can actually bounce arrows back at the people who are shooting them, which is cool. something there. Cherries, so it's 15% of your health. Okay, so health is a secret in this game. That's an interesting decision. I don't know if it's always a secret, but this time it was. Uh, I got another teleporter as well. There's going to be a lot of teleporters. Okay, I got a blueprint for a blood sword. Okay, I don't know how to use these blueprints yet, but that sounds cool.
sound of these little blobs I can tickle here. I don't know why I'd want to. There's also the Triforce just here. Oh, it's just some logs. Looks like a Triforce. <laughs> Another one of these portals here. Again, I'm trying to press A to parry, even though I know it's the X button. I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh no, I'm dead again. I lost eight cells. I still don't know what that means. Um... I assume I lost all my scrolls and stuff too, because I saw them falling down. Okay, well I'm alive again. The room around me is like completely different layout now. It's got this watery part that wasn't here before. Hmm, there's something up here. Secret zone, I've got the quick bow blueprint. I don't know how to use a blueprint. Uh, got an achievement, so the game has those, even though the Switch doesn't, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> what do the flasks do? Okay, so I, I guess we're trying to collect stuff to fill these, but I, I don't I don't know what souls maybe. Okay, so this is just keeps track of your progress and stuff. Okay, I see. Um, what's this? Time travel door or something? The door down here as well. Where I've been though. I'm gonna jump around and get the little mini map filled in a bit more. Okay, so it looks like time's not progressing here, so maybe? What does this door do? Can't open it. Okay, well. Hmm. Can open this one though, right? Yeah. Uh, let's take the shield again. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, time starts when you go through this door and pauses again if you go back, which is interesting. Oh, it's like a switch or something that I just pressed. I didn't realize this door needed opening. <laughs> um, well, let me see if I can get this. That's something. And there's, there's a teleporter here. There's a guy with a bow over there. actually kind of easy to parry them now, I've gotten used to it. What the? Hmm. Throwing knife. Oh, I see. I can replace one of my weapons with it. Uh, I guess I'll hang, hang on to what I've got already. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll swap it out for my shield and see how that goes. There we go. Sapphire? Nice. Cherries. <laughs> oh, hello, what's this? A shop? Wolf trap, tonic.
Huh. Hang on, there's a door over there. I need to pay to open or something? Hmm. Alright. Electric whip. Ooh, that sounds cool. Uh, let's replace the rusty sword with an electric whip. Yeah! <laughs> I'll have a scroll of power. Um, oh, I see. That's interesting. Uh, I think tactics might be what I want. My whip is purple. Most of my weapons are purple. That probably makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> like attack upwards or anything, which would be useful. If I could do that. Promenade of the Condemned? Uh, alright. Used. What? Oh, I need to get here faster to get through that door. Oh, I see. Okay. Hello. Okay, so that's the collector. Oh, okay, so I need to give the collector some stuff. Like blueprints. Okay, so I can buy that health potion by get, by spending cells. Okay, I get it. I guess I'll do that. Um, I only have two more cells. I can't buy any of these things, but there's some more options now, so that's something. I guess I should just leave these here, like this. Mutations. Oh, I see. You can you can buff various things. Ooh, pile of corpses. Gross. Oh, you have to choose mutation. All right. Um, does it pick one of each, or I don't know. Okay, no, I have to pick one altogether. I guess I'll pick that one. What's this thing. Oh, it's an HP restoring thing. That's handy. Where that you can't teleport to teleporters in different rooms, like the ones back in the prison, for example. Yeah, I guess there's a way to climb up there, like a wall jump move or something I can get. So there's something up there. It's like a rose. Oh, that's cool.
There is some fall damage, so that's something to watch out for. Or at least fall stunning. I'm not sure if it's actually damage. Can I heal anywhere? Or I guess I have limited healing potions? Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Spartan sandals. Uh... Ah, goes through walls. <laughs> I'm running faster. That's cool. <gasps> food. I love food. Elevator. <laughs> okay, I think I'm sort of getting the hang of it. It's, it's not easy. Um, I think I'm a lot better this life than I was in the previous two, though. I'm not sure whether it actually started unlocking things at that point, and that's why I couldn't get to better stuff, or if I just suck at the game. It could be both. Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so you go back to the prisoner's quarters when you die. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, it's sort of kind of like a roguelike Castlevania game? Which is interesting. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, but see, this part looks the same as before instead of having the other layout. So I'm guessing it sort of locks in after some time or something. Is this open? Not yet. Right, this one. Nope. Get to choose one of these sucky weapons again. I but I kept the um potion that I got from the upgrade earlier, so yeah, there are some permanent upgrades. Which is good. Can't open the big door. My stats all reset, I notice. I like that down downward clunk move, that's pretty cool. Uh, you just press jump again while pushing down in mid-air.
I think the blue things are called other cells. I guess? Probably. Bloodsword. I guess I have to keep the blueprints long enough to get to the collector if I want it to be kept. Rub? Why? What does that do? <laughs> There's some stuff you can interact with. It doesn't really seem to do anything, which is an interesting decision. Um, infantry bow. Yum, oh, cherries. Let's upgrade a stat. Um, I can green. Let's upgrade green. There we go. Uh, hello, are you a shop? Yes, but I can't afford anything you have for sale. Because I'm, I'm broke. Drop. Little bit of little bit of money out of that. That's cool. Harry, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like smashing down doors instead of opening them. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, all right. Give me that tonic. I guess Tonic's going the ZR slot by the looks of things. Uh, I've upgraded my green already. Let's upgrade my red? Promenade of Condemned. He's dead. That's not good. That was a bit morbid. some trouble. <laughs> um, there we go. That's how you do it. Okay, so I assume I get to talk to the um, collector or whatever again. So do I cash in my blueprints? Do they get saved when I get to this spot, or I don't know. Let's get some gold reserves. That sounds good. I got six more cells. Um, I can get the blood sword. I don't think I actually get that as a permanent upgrade, though. I think it just becomes findable or something. Oh no, I got one. Okay. Um, still, still don't think it's a permanent thing, though. Well, it throws bombs out, which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, okay. Time to mutate. Uh, let's see.
drink up that potion there. And with the promenade again. So yeah, um, like a lot of modern roguelikes, you have permanent upgrades that you get by doing decently well at the first bit. Which make you, you know, overall a better uh, hero, adventure character, whatever. Okay, um, that's scary. Swinging thingies. Um. Alright, my current sword doesn't electrify like the previous one did. It was a whip before as well. So yeah, because it's not electrifying, it doesn't make the water go all that big and kill people that way. That looks interesting. Uh, can I open that? Nope. I just need to switch to open it from the other side. Garden is key. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Ah! Ugh. Got another teleporter. There's a lot of teleporters, uh, I gotta say. Ooh, we've got here firebrands. Infantry grenade. I'll take that. Ah, oh, blow up the other things. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, I already had stuff in the other slot. <sighs> One of these little uh, cell piles here that you can tickle for whatever reason. Don't know why you want to do that. Doesn't need to do anything when you do that, so... Oh, hello! Uh... Uh, is that a boss? Oh my goodness! Boss or something? Oh my goodness. Well, I got an unknown artifact. That sounds cool. I don't know, I don't know what that is. But. Cause permanent rune causes climbing vines to grow. Okay. So, I guess I can access different areas. Oh, those things I could tickle before now grow into vines I can climb. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, okay, now I get it. Boosh. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're getting to about 40 minutes, so... Hang on, pause, but... Oh, I see, because I'm in the sparkling area. Alright. No! I did it again. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I'm at about, about 30 minutes, so I'm gonna just give my thoughts, I guess. This game looks amazing. <laughs> 
Uh, the visuals are fantastic. This pixel art looks great. Um, I am not a fan of the gross respawn animation. That's pretty, pretty gross. Gross. Uh, oh, okay, so I can get my gold back. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I got the gold get backing upgrade. Uh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, um, this is a really cool looking roguelike. Um, I, I think, yeah, it's basically a Castlevania game in roguelike form, which is a really interesting combination. Um, and that'd be why the options let you, you know, enable Castlevania based stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know when this stuff unlocks. I don't know, maybe you have to make a certain amount of progress and then it'll... Oh, hello. Okay, so my upgrades are showing are showing up up there now. I can see there's the flame sword and there's the bag of money. And there's the health potion. So, I guess that's how that works. Interesting. Um, but yeah, the game's visuals are great. The sound sounds great. It controls really nicely. Uh, very smooth. Combat's a lot of fun. It's hard. It's a difficult game, um, but it's really good, and I would recommend it, I think. Uh, let's take this beginner's bow. Here we go. And yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. And I'm glad the permanent upgrade system is very detailed. Like, some roguelikes don't really do that as well as others. And in this one, you're clearly, like, making a bit of progress every time uh, you get through the first little bit because you can cash in partial cells to get partway towards the next upgrade or whatever. Which is good. Um, I like the teleporting system, too. It's good that... You know, it encourages you to explore, even though the game is extremely lethal, because you can teleport back, rather than having to go through where all the monsters are. So that's good too. Um, I haven't played enough of it to really know what to expect in some later parts, but... I'm guessing there's like another rune I can use to unlock these things. Uh, like the one I got for the climbing vines. Example, here's a climbing vine I can use to get up here, which I couldn't use before. Um, I think that's a pretty cool way of doing things. It's sort of, it's it's sort of you know Metroidvania, like like a Castlevania game that you have these upgrades that unlock new um, movement options, basically, uh, which is something that those games do a lot. Even though this is a roguelike, it's still doing that, which is really interesting. Um, Also, I can apparently go to different places, because there's a park here to the toxic sewers, which I can go to instead of the other place. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> I, I thought, like, it was completely linear, but I guess it's not. Um, I pick a couple of different routes through the game. Um. Well, I fell down a really long way. Okay, uh, oh, really? I just didn't get into that door. Two, two minutes. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, here's the this guy. Okay, I have six cells. I should probably cash them into something to sew it. Uh, let me see. I think there's one that can preserve she preserve cells, but hey, that would be really useful. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I want to put them somewhere because you lose them when you die. I guess I'll put them in recycling. There we go. I don't know what my infection level is. I haven't seen anything that looks like that. Some, it decreases when you kill a boss, apparently, but I don't know what it is. Um, but yeah, overall this game looks really good, um, and I'm really liking how it looks. It seems to have a lot to it, 
in terms of depth and complexity and rogue rogue likiness. I got achievements. That's good. Uh, yeah, overall, I'm impressed with this title. Uh, does that do damage? Yes, it does. Thought it might, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, hey, cutscene. Okay, so one of the other movement rooms will be the one you get here, I'm guessing. And that's the one that they're asking for, uh, I'm assuming. Possibly the one for those electric thingies, possibly something different. Ah, Scorpio! You're less cute than I remembered. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, Dead Cells, it looks like a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to exploring this game more, and... Whoa, explosives! Scary. Uh, and, you know, getting a feel for all the different uh, upgrades and stuff. I kind of wish you had some sort of cosmetic customization of your character. Uh, cause... You look gross. <laughs> you got this, this weird headless thing going on. Um... But that's not a big deal, really. Whoa! You don't expect that. Whoa! Okay, there's a scroll there. I would like that. Thank you. What doesn't kill me? I think that's a mutation that I can unlock. So that's cool. Oh, hang on. What's going on? Yeah, Disgusting. Um, hmm. Oh, I, I was actually a corpse over here. I didn't realize. Gross. <laughs> Teleporter. But yeah, overall this looks pretty excellent to me, and I would recommend getting this title. Uh, again, I don't think it has a lot that the Switch version adds. Uh, unlike Downworld that I looked at in the previous video, this one doesn't add, you know, a special mode that you can do because the Switch can be rotated vertically, that sort of thing, because it's just a different kind of game. But, that's fine. Uh, I imagine this is probably about the same game on every platform. I don't think the Switch version will be any different to the other versions you can get. Uh, but the Switch version is the one I'm playing, and it looks pretty good, so I would recommend this game. It looks good to me. Um, I'm assuming there are other versions. It doesn't seem like this would be a Switch exclusive. But maybe it is, who knows. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah, um, that's Dead Cells. Uh, a game about about um rogue liking and uh, Castlevania.